hey guys and welcome back to my channel um first things first i apologize if i seem very low energy in this video it is because i am this is like my first cycle in like two or three months so i just feel like every little bit of energy i have has been drained out of my body i kind of felt it coming so i prepared but either way y'all know for me stuff like this really sucks so I'm gonna try to be like hype and peppy in this video, but it may not come out. So um, I am excited to do this video today because this is another video where no one has talked about these products. Like there are so many great products out here that we just don't talk about, but I talk about what I love. And so when I saw this new collection come out from this brand that I love so much, I had to buy all of it, right? So today we're talking about Curl Origin. I picked up everything from their Marula and Quinoa collection. I do have the Marula and Quinoa Uplifting Shampoo. It's a sulfate free cleanser. The Marula and Quinoa Damage Control Reparative Conditioner. Right here. As well as the Marula and Quinoa Moisture Mania Hair Mask. Isn't the packaging on these beautiful? Like the, the packaging is just scrumptious. And what I think I'm going to do, I'm a half and half it, put this on one side of my head and this on the other side of my head so we can equally compare how they work. I have the restorative leave-in conditioner and the pure flaxseed curl defining gel definition and hold so some of y'all may not have even known that these products existed because like i said literally nobody is talking about them so i am going to go take this old mix it up <laughs> out of my head this is where my hair is at she is dry i got caught in the rain i called myself trying to fix my hair after it got caught in the rain and I just ended up drying it out even more. But I think all things considered, it could look worse. It could look worse. And I did sleep in a bun last night on my silk pillowcase, don't worry. <laughs> so I'm going to go rinse my hair thoroughly and I'm going to come back and we are going to get into these products. This is where my hair is at. I have just rinsed it out and Considering everything that I did to it, not even considering that, it just feels hella good. Like, if I had really thought about it, I probably just could have re-wet my hair, added a smidge more gel, and I would have been fine because the moisture is definitely still there. So, I'm going to start off with the Marula and Quinoa Uplifting Shampoo. If she says cleans, she better cleans. <laughs> An extra gentle shampoo created for curls made with mild plant-based cleansers that gently lift off excess product buildup and rich emollients that protect natural oils extracts of quinoa marula and chamomile leave hair and scalp revitalized clean and nourished and this is for fine to coarse dry damaged and curly hair the first five ingredients in this are water cam water chamomile calendula aloe and cocomide purple betaine 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 I've been in North Carolina too long, too, too damn long. Kind of like a slightly fruity, like touch of perfumey. Don't know if that makes sense, but I'm gonna go with that because it's all I got in my mind. This does seem like it's going to be a creamy, yeah. So it still runs out of the bottle, but you can definitely tell like it's, it feels like a cream cleanser. So let's see. But she does foam like a shampoo. Hey, hey girl, hey, hey. Welcome to the part say. Hey. Just 
changed You just buzzed the front gate I thank God you came How many more days could I wait? I All right, so before I go rinse this out, just some initial first impressions. This, the amount of lather you get is really dependent on how much you apply to your hair, which I think is very important to note. So um, if you're starting off small and working your way up, that first addition that you add may not be as much lather as you're expecting. That's why I added a little bit more. Definitely feels like it has some hydrating properties while it is on my hair. We will see what things feel like when it is rinsed out. It does have that movability through the hair, which I do prefer. I wouldn't necessarily say that the shampoo is slippery, but it does have movability through the strands, so you should be able to work this through your hair nicely um, and not have too many issues with it. So, and that's what my hair looks like. So I am going to go rinse this out and come back and we will start the conditioning process. Alrighty, so here is my hair completely cleansed feels very nice you can definitely see my curls are still nice and plump a little frizz but not overly frizzy so it did help to lift the cuticle but it didn't overly lift my cuticle this is not clarifying but it definitely is cleansing i would say that this is a nice um potent shampoo that is going to give you a little bit of hydration on the back end and has ingredients to kind of help plump up your curls, already reinforce that process. So, hair looks great. I'm gonna go ahead, part it down the middle, and we're gonna get into these conditioners. Okay. So on this side, I'm going to be using the Marula and Quinoa Damage Control Reparative Conditioner. And it says that this rich hair conditioner features clinically proven reparative agents that repair and restore the hair's cortex. Infused with quinoa protein and keratin, it penetrates the hair shaft to rebuild, nourish, and protect from within. Hair will be stronger with each use. This conditioner should be a part of your hair regimen if your hair is fine, chemically treated, damaged, or you're transitioning to natural. And y'all know I got five strands, so protein is very important for me. First five ingredients in this are water, aloe vera, BTMS, CDR alcohol, and acetyl alcohol. The quinoa protein and the um, keratin, as well as some silk peptides, those are at the bottom of the ingredients list. So I don't think that I'm going to see that much of a difference between the conditioners. I'm curious to see how this goes because typically, well, I haven't tried a rinse out from Curl Origin, but I have tried She Sent It rinse outs and I typically don't really like them. But this is thicker. Oh. But it also feels grainy. It may be one of the oils in there because it is a little cool in my room. Um, this time of year, but this feels like a really thick deep conditioner. Um, and it does say it does say apply to clean damp hair, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, rinse, follow up with a moisturizing conditioner. It says to kind of use it as a protein treatment, but I'm not getting protein treatment vibes from this. It feels super duper emollient and moisturizing. But yeah, definitely be aware there is something in there that feels slightly grainy. That's what my hair is looking like. It looks good and it definitely is soaking in the conditioner, but it sure don't look like I have anything with protein in my hair, that's for sure. I will say, this is really thick. I don't like the bottle because um, this conditioner does have a lot of slip to it. It does feel very emollient, so whenever you go to pick up the bottle and try to shake some more down, it like slides out of your hands. I mean, y'all see how, <laughs> you see how hard I'm squeezing this? OK, 
Okay, so first impressions of this conditioner, thick, creamy, rich conditioner, definitely feels and is reacting in my hair. Like it's more so moisture based than anything though, but it does feel good. I was able to easily detangle through my strands without any additional pulling and tugging on the hair. And now on to the Marula and Quinoa Moisture Mania Mask with Marula, Beet Sugar, and Quinoa Milk. And it has a little seal on it that says 90% more moisture. I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. TBH, y'all, all the smells are starting to run together at this point, so it, it smells like everything else in the collection. That kind of fruity, but like slightly perfumey, musky fragrance. And it is formulated for dry and overprocessed hair. This rich hair mask is infused with a generous amount of marshmallow extract, mm -hmm. marula oil, and avocado. It deeply penetrates the hair shaft to nourish, moisturize, and hydrate hair. All things are left here. And the first five ingredients are water infused with marshmallow extract, beet sugar, BTMS, cereal alcohol, and um, chamomile flower. So apply to freshly shampooed hair, done. Leave on for 15 minutes to an hour. Rinse, we recommend you use it after using our Marula and Quinoa Damage Control Repair Conditioner. Cool, um, clearly I have diverged, you know, strayed from the directions. This is very creamy. I like the smell of these products. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Hey girl, hey. This is not quite as thick as the rinse out. Feels silkier. Feels silkier in the hair. I feel like my hair is responding to this more than it was responding to the um the deep conditioner. So that was very fast. I would say you don't have to work this in as much as you do the other one because the other one is so thick and it does have good slip, but this one does have better slip. Very soft, pillowy feeling in the hair, but y'all see how my curls just look kind of like, ooh, hi. I don't know who she is, but I want to. That that's how my hair looks right now. That's how it's talking to this hair mask. Initial first impressions. I do prefer the application of this. Um I don't think I'm gonna be able to really show how much I used of either one because this bottle is so dark. I didn't have to work this in as long as this guy. So that's also a big plus for me as well. Like the, the attraction to my hair was instant with this. Whereas this one, um, even though it felt good, clearly it was working. It just, the reaction wasn't the same. So clearly I feel like, yes, this is more moisturizing, but I felt like for this to be a um, reparative conditioner, I would have seen my curls pop as opposed to seeing my curls pop with this, if that makes sense. Application with this one was a dream. And also the fact that I don't have to fight with a bottle is a really nice for me because I'm just, <laughs> Aunt Flo has me in a mood, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit underneath my deep conditioning cap for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll come back um, with my hair rinsed out and I'm going to give y'all a direct comparison of these two babies. Okay guys, so I have rinsed out my hair. So this is the side with the Moisture Mania. And this is the side with the Damage Control reparative conditioner so immediately I like the moisture mania side better the irony is that 
I thought that if I had, even if this did have less moisture with the reparative side, I thought that I would at least have um, more curl poppage, but I don't. I actually find this side to have better elasticity than this side. I have more frizz on this side, um, which is usually something that I don't get with my protein treatments anyway. So for me to have that going on is a little strange. My hair just feels okay using this. I have other protein conditioners that do more for my hair that give me better results. There's probably never really going to be a time where I'm going to be like, oh, I need to pull that out. You know, I'm going to pull out something else. I also still have a little bit of that grittiness in my hair, which I'm not a fan of. But yeah, like you can see, I would expect my hair to be doing better things um, on this side, simply because this does have more of that protein. So that's the difference in that. So now I'm going to go into the Marula and Quinoa Restorative Leave-In Conditioner. This is supposed to strengthen and hydrate. And it says that this decadent leave-in conditioner features lightweight emollients that penetrate hair strands. Infused with marshmallow and quinoa milk, it rebuilds, hydrates, and softens damaged hair. So this does have the Marula oil and the quinoa milk the way that the deep conditioner does. And the first five ingredients are water, chamomile flour, calendula extract, horsetail, and BTMS, followed by the cereal alcohol and marshmallow. And that is directly followed by marula, grapeseed, watermelon, and then the quinoa milk. So, And it says, apply liberally to clean damp hair from roots to ends. Do not rinse out. Proceed to style. So that's what we're going to do. Mmm. Carries that same smell. Ooh, this feels good. Very reminiscent of my passion fruit and flax from She Sent It. There we go. All right. Ooh. This is nice. I actually think I might like this leave in better than the um leave-in that I've been using from them. The one that was in my review. I really like that leave-in, but clearly it's not the most amazing leave-in. Otherwise, I would remember the name. <laughs> no, it's a really, really, really good leave-in, but I do prefer the feeling of this. It just has a little bit more emollients to it. It's not so like runny and fluid in the hand. So again, easy application. I did find though that the pieces where I use the hydrating conditioner, um, the application was a little bit smoother as opposed to the pieces where I used the reparative conditioner. Now, now that I have those moisturizers in my in my hair, it does feel better on this side where I did use the um, the damage control, but it still feels better on the moisture mania sections of my hair. So last but not least, I'm very excited about this. When I saw them post about it, I was like, oh, I have to get that. This is the Marula and Quinoa Pure Flaxseed Curl Defining Gel for definition and hold. And this is a whopping 13 ounces. It says this lightweight gel was formulated using the extracts of pure organic flaxseed. Blended with Buriti oil and marshmallow, it provides soft hold to curls, leaving them bouncy, defined, and shiny. And this says it has definition hold, softness, shine, and moisture. So I'm curious to see if this is going to be like the passion fruit and flax gel 
Um, I'm hoping that it's different. <laughs> um, and the first five ingredients are water, flaxseed extract, aloe leaf juice, marshmallow, and xanthan gum. Um, xanthan gum is a thickener and it can go awry very quickly for um, a lot of people and a lot of products. Xanthan gum is a, an ingredient that can cause um, flaking in the hair just because of its molecular structure and how it plays with other products. Um, I have gels that really, really work for me that have a lot of xanthan gum in them and I have some that don't, so we will see. Apply to clean, soaking wet hair, preferably while in the shower. Cool. Is she dripping? Yeah, she's dripping. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, this feels. Mm -mm. This feels like the um, nature's little secret. This doesn't feel like. Y'all see that texture? This does not feel like the passion fruit and flax. This feels like. It looks very similar to the nature's little secret one. Let's see how it acts. Yeah, it gets that tight feeling. But it is shiny though. So, that actually looks really good. That actually looks really nice. Um, I don't, I don't hate it upon application the way I hated the nature's little secret. Um, it's funny because gels like this, I always say, I put them on and I'm just like, mm, mm. but then it dries and I'm like, what is this sorcery? <laughs> like, I don't understand how you can like dislike something so much when you first apply it and then it dries and it's like, whoa. I think this is the sweet spot with it. Just judging from how my curls are looking and reacting and how much I am dripping. So I'm going to stop here because I think that any more will be too much and could be a potential flaking risk factor. I used about this much, so I'll definitely get at least five more, five more uses out of it, six maybe even, so that's dope. I am excited about that, so I'm going to turn around so you can see the back of my head. Initial first impressions. Um, gels like these, like I've said, are never my favorite to apply. Um, so <laughs> um, sometimes it is hard to give a first impression when your hair is wet, but I do like that I do have shine. I do like that I can see my curls responding um, and kind of soaking in the product. So all of those are like good pluses for me. I also like that these two, the leave-in, and the pure flaxseed gel really, really, really play well with each other. No curdling, no clumpy mess, no frothing. This one just sunk in like butter. And then this one just like goes in and kind of reinforces everything. So I think this is going to be a really nice um, moisture foundation. And this is going to be a nice like light hold. It does say that it gives a light hold. So I'm not expecting anything more than that. I'm going to go find some food and heat up my heating pad 
an air dry for about an hour and then I'm going to sit underneath the dryer. I probably won't come back today with my results, but I will come back in tomorrow so that you guys can see what everything is looking like and I will give you my final thoughts on the Curl Origin Marula and Quinoa collection. Okay guys, so I am back and this is my hair all dry. Let me turn around real quick. Hopefully the camera won't act stupid because every time I do a shot like with my hair dry with my full clothes on and everything everything in the background like turns yellow and my hair be looking like ashy as hell so let's see let's see what happens <laughs> so that is what my hair is looking like it before i came on camera it was a little bit more lifted than this it's had some time to fall since i took it out but my hair feels really good um i'm not gonna know until i edit this whether i did actually have any residual you know like product left on my hair i tried to check last night but my hair wasn't fully dry when i went to work so i had some places where i was like it may just be wet you know what i mean but my hair feels very good it is definitely I would say like a medium hold. It really has kind of enveloped my curls. They feel soft, but I can still feel the little bit of cast on them. I kind of let the cast kind of hold on on the ends of my hair. Just to create longevity, I'm getting ready to go out of town, so I don't want to have to redo my hair before I go. I do see a couple of things like floating in the air like not a lot like it's not snowing but just like just a little bit like I see a couple of specks so overall I think that I'm, I'm gonna be fine and I think for the most part I got pretty close to the amount that I needed to have in my hair so let's go back to the marula and quinoa uplifting shampoo I love the ingredients on this um, it has really nice surfactants in it that are really going to help get the hair clean. This is like a more moisturizing version of the Miche Cleansed. I feel like if you really like that shampoo, you will like this um, because it gets your hair just about as clean as that. So if you like that and you're out and you wanted to try something new this is a good one to try but if you have that one you don't need this like you could use this you could use the Miche and still go in with your other products in this collection and i think that they would still balance each other out well this is a really really nice shampoo but i have so many really good shampoos you know what i mean um and so because i already have my favorites established this is not going to be beating anything out for me, although I will definitely use it. It is a great cleanser. You can tell that this does add some hydration to the hair, but you still get, it. it it's borderline squeaky the way that the Miche Cleansed is. The Miche Cleansed is borderline squeaky, and this one is borderline squeaky too. If you have a lot of product in your hair, it's going to get it out. You don't have to worry about that at all. Perfect reset for the day. So... I highly, highly, highly suggest this if you are in need of a shampoo. But if you already have a good moisturizing shampoo or you already own the Miche Cleanse, then you really don't need this. But if you've never tried like a, a actual cleanser from Curl Origin or you don't have a space filled in your collection, this is a really nice one. Great ingredients, very hydrating, but still very cleansing to the hair. And then you guys know that I did um, a test. So I did this on my left and I did this one on my right. Let's talk about this one first. I will say now that my hair is dry, I don't really feel or see much of a difference. I have equal amounts of frizz on both. They feel equally soft and equally moisturized. And I feel like the definition in my hair, there really is no difference. Um, I would say if there's anything in this collection that I definitely would not repurchase, it would be the reparative conditioner. Now, obviously, like I said, 
that full disclaimer that I gave y'all, it they do suggest that you use this and then go in with the Moisture Mania hair mask. But I found that I really didn't get much action from the protein. Like, it's not as moisturizing as the hair mask, but it still didn't do enough in terms of my elasticity to one, feel like I need to have both of these to use this and then to use the other one, if that makes sense. This one did not do a lot for my curls. It was more so, it was more moisturizing than strengthening, but it wasn't moisturizing enough either. This one just kind of is in limbo for me. It's not something that I'm going to feel myself like craving to use or wanting to go back to. I will use this as it is directed from now on to get rid of it. I will, you know, whenever I pull this collection back out, I will use this and then go in with the Moisture Mania and then do the rest of my routine for the simple fact that I just want to finish this. But as far as something that I feel like anyone would need in their collection, I feel like this is definitely a product that you can skip. I've heard great things about it, but it just didn't really do much for me. And again, I have a big collection. I have things that have really wowed me and have really shown up and shown out. So this one does not, um, doesn't even come close to wowing me the way that my other Coal Origin products do. They have other conditioners that I personally feel work better than this. It's, it's a great concept. It has awesome ingredients and I do love how thick it is even though I feel like it should not be in this kind of bottle. I mean, look at, it's thick. It's thicker than the hair mask. Um, So I don't like the bottle. I feel like it needs a pump or it needs to be in a jar. I do like the texture of it, but I also didn't like the grittiness that I encountered with it, which is probably just some of those oils seizing up because like I said, my room is colder. Overall, this just seemed to be a little bit more trouble than it was worth in terms of trying to apply it to the hair. The application felt great, but I still had some of those little crumbles of whatever oil or emollient was in the product in my hair when I rinsed it out. And it just didn't, I mean, y'all could see in the clips, it didn't do a lot. Like my hair didn't really look like I put much of anything in it after I rinsed it out. So this is one that I definitely think you guys can can skip. I don't think that it's anything that most of you guys will see too much benefit from. Um, like I said, this does have hydrolyzed quinoa protein and keratin amino acids at the bottom. Um, and that doesn't always mean that you're not going to get the effects of what is in there. It just means that it is not going to hit you so hard. Um, I get the effects of the little bit of protein that's in my knee strengthen, but I don't get the effects of the little bit of protein that is in this, so. I hate that I don't like this, but it's cool because I have this. This right here is beautiful. Um, I love everything about the fragrance. Everything about the texture. This is a hair mask that is going to last a very long time in my collection because you do not need a lot of this to smooth it through your curls. It is the perfect texture. It is thick enough to have that really nice substance for those of us that do prefer thicker conditioners, but it is creamy enough um, and still has a little bit of a thinness to where it really slips through the strands the the application of this was effortless it was it was so good um like i said i really think a lot of it has to do with that marsh there's just something about marshmallow extract if if your hair really does respond to that like this mm, i really want to try this side by side with my marula mallow even though i don't feel like i had the same effect in my hair i would love to see like the differences in between the two so if you guys would like to see a kind of a side-by-side -side battle between this one and the she sent it marula mallow let me know but even though this doesn't have straight up unadulterated protein i felt like i saw more of a difference in my elasticity from this than i did with the protein one um which i was not expecting and I'm pretty sure that quinoa, that quinoa milk probably does have trace amounts of protein in it. 
Um, it just depends on how it was created and harvested. Um, but this just, the ingredients, the way it made my hair feel, my hair felt very silky, moisturized, soft, my curls were popping. Like this right here. Get this for Black Friday. They usually, Curl Origin and She Sent It usually do the same sale on Black Friday and they're both usually very good. So I highly suggest picking up this mask if you're looking for something other than the original line to try. Oh, this is so, so nice. And then the leave-in conditioner. Actually, let me go pick up the other leave-in conditioner I have because I cannot remember the name of it. So the other one that I have that I've been using, I've actually used quite a bit of this, is the Curl Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner. If I had to choose, I would pick this one. I definitely want to see how this mixes with my oil and gel. This one is far more emollient though. And it has a little bit more substance in the hands. I also love the fragrance of it. This, um, if you have the passion fruit and flax, is very similar to that. So if you have the passion fruit and flax leave-in, from She Sent It, you may not necessarily need this one, you know? Um, I'm going to get a lot of use out of both of them because the Passion Fruit and Flax is definitely standing as my favorite, like, true leave-in conditioner. The, the Tahiti Cocktail is trying to get her, though. Like, Tahiti Cocktail is trying to come for Passion Fruit and Flax. But I love this because you get that slip that you get from something that's runnier like this. You still get that slip, but the emollients kind of allows those really moisturizing ingredients to, to penetrate into the hair, but seals it in. Um, and I feel like the moisture on this is going to last a little bit longer than the moisture on this one. Um, if you are on the website and you are looking for new, new leave-ins to try, both of these are really good, but this is my top pick over this one. The only real like the only other like step up from this one is that this is a 13 fluid ounce and this is an eight and a half fluid ounce. So just depends. And last but certainly not least, the Pure Flaxy Curl Defining Gel. I mean, y'all, y'all see, y'all see movement. I have definition, but it's more of like that effortless definition kind of situation. This is not going to tame every little bit of frizz on your head. It's it's just not. And I find that most of my flaxseed gels don't. So I wasn't expecting that from this anyway. Um, a lot of people are so obsessed with like taming all the frizz. And especially like in my back section, I get that comment a lot. Like, why is your back, your back section frizzy? And my hair is naturally frizzy back there. There are very few things that I use that actually I'm sorry if y'all can hear my car because my car is very loud. I don't know why my car is running, but we gonna move through this. <laughs> um, there are very few products that I have that really do tame that frizz and those tend to be a lot heavier. I'm not the type of person that is always looking for the most frizz-free look. If anything, having that extra frizz in the back sometimes does actually allow me to get more of the volume that I prefer. So I'm usually more so like nice definition with a nice combination of volume. And I feel like this also gives that to me. I also think, and one of you guys did suggest this, but obviously I hadn't done it because I hadn't done the review on these products yet. Um, I'm definitely going to have to do a side by side between this one and the Nature's Little Secret flaxseed curly custard because they have a very similar texture. I feel like this one, my hair was definitely shinier before it completely dried, but this, my hair is not dull. It's just like that natural, it's just the natural shine in my hair. There's, there's nothing enhanced about it. It's just the natural shine in my hair, which I am okay with. I don't need my hair to be like ultra glossy. Like I, I'm okay with that. So there is that, my hair does feel still moisturized. It does still feel very soft. I think I will probably get two more days out of this wash and go and then I will have to go ahead and co-wash, um, which is cool. It's about the amount of time that I look to get out of these anyway. So as far as this goes, 
if you like gels like this, then you will love this gel. Um, again, one of those situations where I won't really sure, you know. I will say though, as this one dried, when it was air drying, because I let it air dry for about two hours, this one didn't look as questionable as the Nature's Little Secret one did. I do also feel like my curls are definitely a little bit more elongated than they were with the Nature's Little Secret Flaxseed Curly Custard. That one, although I did have like that really pretty effortless volume, it made my hair look so beautiful. Um, this definitely does seem to have a little bit more droop, a little bit more downturned than the Flaxseed Curly Custard. So I'm definitely going to have to put those two side by side. But if you are a fan of gels like that, I think this is definitely going to be a good one. I do not feel like this compares to the passion fruit and flax gel though. Actually, let me let me just go get it because it's right there behind me. <laughs> so I just pulled my She Sent It Passion Fruit and Flax Curl Defining Jelly. So this one right here is definitely a pure flaxseed base. This one is not. So the first five ingredients in the passion fruit and flax are water, passion fruit extract, aloe vera leaf, marshmallow root extract, and beet um, beet root sugar. The flax seed is a couple ingredients down. This one also has Irish moss and cocoa seed butter, as well as pectin. So this does not rely on the flax seed to be the main gelling ingredient. And if you can see, this one, looks more like I would say kind of like as I am curling jelly it's it's thicker than that it's not as fluid but it has that clear consistency runny but this I'll link the video that I did on the pa the passion fruit and flax curling jelly um up in the cards above so you guys can see a direct comparison of how these these looked so if you look in comparison you see two totally this one has more of that like snotty flaxy gel consistency um these two are nothing like each other not even close to being anything like each other not in terms of the hold not in terms of the application um they're, they're definitely not comparable um, and they're absolutely not comparable when it comes to the ingredients. These have different bases um, and these do utilize, they have some similar ingredients, but they do use, um, they utilize very different gelling agents. I am so happy that this ended up being a super successful wash day. So another quick rundown, dope, but if you have Mish, or a really good hydrating shampoo. You don't need it unless you really, really want to try it, but this is dope. This can go. I'm gonna use her up. It's gonna be a real quick one, two, and then I'm not repurchasing this. I didn't feel like it did anything for my curls. It's just not enough for me. This is bomb. This is dope. Um, <laughs> Buy her. I think, you know, I feel like we can always benefit from having good deep conditioners. So if you are a deep conditioner whore like I am, then you know, buy it buy it i don't think any of you guys will regret this i feel like this is going to be stellar for a multitude of people so i highly su suggest picking up this hair mask the leave-in is also dope i am a sucker for a good leave-in this feels really great very similar to other things that i really enjoy in my collection like i said if you have a passion fruit and flax leave-in um you don't necessarily need to get this because those two are very similar to each other but if you don't or you have it and you still just want to try it, this is a really awesome solid leave-in, perfect te texture, perfect consistency, perfect slip, and great moisture. And if you like flaxseed gels, this is going to be a nice one to add to your collection. If you don't like flaxseed gels, then I don't suggest you buy this <laughs> because I highly doubt that you will like this any more than any other flaxseed gel on the market. Um, this functions like others that I have tried. This, for me, I'm definitely going to get use out of this. I really like the results of this wash and go. I really like this. I think that those of you who love to try new gels, especially new flaxseed gels, I know flaxseed gel is like the thing. Um, I think a lot of you guys will really like this. 
but if you are not a fan of that flaxseed gel life then you ain't gonna like this and you shouldn't pick it up but i actually really enjoy this and i'm low-key like i low-key kind of want to get a backup on black friday because i really like how this feels this feels really nice so overall i think this is a pretty solid collection i truthfully feel like they could just toss this like i don't honestly curl origin i don't really feel like y'all need this like i really want to like this but i just the only thing i really like is the smell and the consistency but it just it really didn't do anything like it really didn't i think the moisture mania really just outshines this so much i feel like this really isn't necessary but aside from that like this is a really solid line dope cleansing conditioning leave-in styling set it's easy it's simple if you are someone that really does like simplicity in your hair care you can go to just their original line or this line pick your your cleanser conditioner styler leave-in and you're good to go you don't have to add a bunch of things to your you know to your shelf you don't have to add a bunch of things to your stash so if you are that person curl origin is the place to go because you're going to get that good solid moisture great ingredients and I feel like they're just, you know, a solid brand overall. But the, this line itself, I really do enjoy with the exception of that conditioner. She can go. The rest can stay forever. <laughs> so a lot of you guys did ask me to review this. Y'all have been like, Brie, are you going to do it? Like, it's okay if you don't, but like, can you? <laughs> so y'all know I had to get this out for you guys. So this is like the last big review that I was trying to get done before Black Friday. So thank you guys for requesting it. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, it really does help out the channel. Of course, let me know if you have tried these products down below. And if you have not tried them, let me know what you're thinking about getting for Black Friday from Curl Origin. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.